So segmentation, why did we even bother learning it? Well, it's still influential on the system because of things like backwards compatibility. Anytime you're going to be running 32-bit code on a 64-bit system, it's definitely going to be in play. But the most important reason for covering it was the reason that I gave at the very beginning of the section. We want to understand at a deep level how privilege rings and permission separation works on the Intel architecture. And you can't do that if you don't understand segmentation. It also is going to go on to influence a bunch of the topics that we cover in the rest of the class, things like interrupts and system calls. Interrupts will ultimately be selecting things in the GDT or LDT. System calls will ultimately be using the FS and GS registers, uh, the MSRs in particular. So it's still important, even though it you know, ostensibly got uh, neutered as part of the x86-64 upgrades. Of course, it's also very important to just understand how things work at a deep level. And this is where you find the weird corner cases like I talked about in that uh, INSQ blog post. Also, you're going to be seeing, and you, you, know, you may not understand it had you not see these kind of things, you'll see that if you reverse engineer Windows and Linux, you'll oftentimes run into explicit usage of the FS and GS segment registers. And now that you've understand the segments a little better, you'll understand that AMD left FS and GS working specifically so operating system makers could use and put data structures at those segments because they had just already been doing it before they did the 64-bit systems. So some miscellaneous instructions we picked up along the way, things like the move instruction, the fact that it has a specific segment register version that would move into and out of a segment register, the push and the pop of a segment register, although we don't have a pop CS version, the SGDT, LGDT, which, load, which store and load the GDTR, the Global Descriptor Table Register, and the SLDT, LLDT, which store and load the Local Descriptor Table Register. 